Hello everyone, welcome back to Talent Sprint. And all of you know that today we are going to discuss the 10th part of this series. And with today's session, we are going to complete all the 322 important questions. So in today's presentation, we have only 35 questions. We'll complete those questions. So here is the first question on your screen. Which one of the following was the ruler of Kusana dynasty who protested Buddhism? So what is the answer? It's Kanishka. So Kanishka is the ruler of the Kushana dynasty who protected the Buddhism and the fourth Buddhist council was organized in Kashmir during his reign and the president of this council was Buddhist scholar Vasumitra and vice president was Aswaghos. After this, the Buddhism divided into two sects. One is Hinayanas and the second one is Mahayanas. Next question. Which was the part of the Indus Valley Civilization? And the answer is, it's Lothal. So the Lothal is close to Saragwala village that's in Ahmedabad district of Gujarat. And in between 1955 to 1962, it was excavated in the direction of Esar Rao, where the remains of a town two miles inhabited received. And it was divided in six parts. The ruins of the defense rampart, roads and houses and elevated platforms were found here. So here is the most valuable achievement was the large size cardon which was made up of paired bricks and S. N. Rao said this is the ships of dock. Hence Lothal was a port city. It was situated on the bank of Bhaguva river. Now the next question. Which one of the following center was famous for education during Mauryan's period? So the options are given Uzen, Balav, Nalanda and Takshila. So what is the answer? It is Takshila. So Takshila was famous for educational center at that time and people from all over the world came here to study. At present it is situated in Islamabad that is capital of Pakistan and Chandragupta Maurya also studied over there. So Chanakya was the famous teacher of Takshila University. Now the next question. In case of the president wishes to resign, to whom he has to address his resignation? And the answer here is, he has to address his resignation to vice president. According to the article 56 of the Indian constitution, it states that the president shall hold office for a term of five years from the date on which he enters open his office, provided that the president may, by writing under his hand address to the vice president, resigns his office, and the president may, for the violation of constitution, be removed from the office by impeachment in the manner provided in the Article 61, and the president shall, withstanding the expiration of his term, continue to hold office until his successor enters upon the office. And the second one is any resignation addressed to the vice president under the clause A of the provision to clause 1 shall forthwith with the communicated by him to the speaker of the house of the people. Now the next question, hailstorms are caused due to death. And the answer here is, it is caused due to freezing. In hailstorm, the small ice particles that form above the freezing level collect either rainwater or cloud water on them, forming a water cell that freezes. The tilted updraft and downdraft structure of the storm is important in order to hailstones to grow because they can be recycled several times until they either become too large for the updraft to carry them or they get caught in downdraft and they finally reach the ground. So the hailstorm is because of freezing. Now the next question. The core of the earth is also known as DAS. The options are here given lithosphere, mesosphere, barysphere, centrosphere. So what is the answer? It's barysphere. So the interior of the earth beneath the lithosphere include both mantle and the core and is known as barysphere. However, it is sometimes used to refer only the core and only to the mantle. Now the next question, which of the following cell organelles is found in a cell which is very active in protein synthesis? The options are given mitochondria, chloroplast, lysosome, ribosome. What is the answer? It's ribosome. 
so the ribosomes are responsible for protein synthesis they found in the cystosol and some are in the endoplasmic reticulum proteins are large molecules made up of amino acids and proteins are important in the body because they serve many different functions that is transportation of materials into and out of the cell and speeding up the biological process and giving structure and support for cells now the next question the mountain formed on the earth crust due to tension is called as and it is called block mountain so the block mountains are formed on the crust due to tension a part of the land block is depressed so that the remaining block stands conspicuously above the surroundings and the mountain formed in this way are called block mountains and depressed portion is known as rift valley right we'll move to the next question which among the following statement is true regarding the international date line is it a 180 degree longitude it is a straight line it is a big circle or it is a curved line beyond earth and the answer here is it is 180 degree longitude so the international date line is an imaginary line on the surface of the earth that runs from the north to south pole and demarcates one calendar day from the next and it passes through the middle of the pacific ocean roughly following the 180 degree longitude but it deviates to pass around some territories and island groups and from the north the date line first deviates to the east of 180 degree to pass to the east of russia's wrangel island and the chukchi peninsula so here is the next question frontal rain is caused by dash the options are given it's a conventional current winds from the sea cyclonic activities condensation of water evaporate from mountains and the answer here is it is a cyclonic activity so the frontal rain is a type of precipitation which occur when a warm water air mass and a cold air mass meet so the extra tropical cyclones form as a waves along weather fronts before occluding and later in the life cycle as a cold core cyclones so cyclogenesis is a development or strengthening of cyclonic circulation in the atmosphere at a low pressure area Now the next question which one of the following rivers form an estuary and the options are given Ganga Tapti Godavari and Mahanadi so what is the answer it's Tapti so the Tapti river empties into the gulf of Kambe of the Arabian sea forming an estuary and it is fed by the monsoon rains the mean flow rate is about 600 cubic meter per second with the maximum in, in the summer and the tapti is navigable by small craft for a distance of 50 km from the mouth and in some places it is used for irrigation and the sea port of surat is located in estuary now the next question the rajya sabha enjoys more powers than the lok sabha in the case of dash The options are here given: money bills, non-money bills, setting up of a new all India services, or amendment of the constitution. So, what's the answer? Is setting up of an all India services. So, under the constitution, the Raj Sabha is granted some powers exclusively. The Raj Sabha, under the Article Two Forty Nine, may by a special majority of two thirds votes adopt a resolution asking the Parliament. to make laws on subjects of the state list and in the national interest secondly the rajya sabha can take steps to create all india services by adopting resolution supported by special majority in the national interest and if the rajya sabha passes a resolution by a majority of not less than 2/3 of the member present and voting that is a uh, necessary and expedient in the national interest to create one or more all india services thirdly the rajya sabha has the exclusive right to initiate a resolution for removal of the vice president just go through this explanation now the next question who is the competent to dissolve parliament and the options are the president the cabinet with occurrence of leader of the opposition by resolution in both houses of parliament or none of these so what's the answer is president so president is competent to dissolve the parliament 
and president has the power to summon and prorogue either house of parliament or to dissolve lok sabha when the term the dissolution of the parliament is used it only means that the lok sabha the house of people the lower house of the parliament so the parliament comprises the president lok sabha and rajya sabha and the council of the states and the upper house right so the first and the third have fixed term of 5 years and 6 year respectively whereas the lok sabha has a term of 5 years but it can be dissolved earlier also so the next question here so the threshold frequency is the frequency below which dash and the answer here is it's it's a photoelectric emission is not possible so we can say that threshold frequency is a frequency below which the photoelectric emission is not possible when an electromagnetic radiation such as x ray strikes on a metal surface then the electron gets emitted from it and this is known as photoelectric effect and the minimum frequency required to eject out the electron is known as threshold frequency now the next question who developed ballistic missile what is the answer here is Werner von Braun so he is a german american rocket scientist aerospace engineer space architect and one of the leading figures in the development of rocket technology in nazi germany during world war 2 and subsequently in the united states and he is credited as being the father of rocket science so here is another question the ore of aluminum is dash and the options are here given phosphorus bauxite hematite chalcopyrites so the answer here is it's hematite so it is a mixture of hydrous aluminum oxide aluminum hydroxide clay minerals and insoluble materials such as quartz hematite magnetite siderite and geothite now the next question a geostationary satellite revolves around the earth from dash to dash and the options are here given east to west west to east north to south and south to north so the answer here is it's west to east so the geostationary satellite is located exactly above the earth's equator and revolves around the earth in a circular orbit their revolving speed and directions are exactly same as that of earth which makes it look stationary from the earth's surface now the next question In which of the following state of India the Madhuvani style of folk painting is popular and the options are given West Bengal Madhya Pradesh Uttar Pradesh and Bihar So what is the answer in which state this folk style painting Madhuvani is famous The answer is it's Bihar So this Madhuvani style of folk painting is also known as Mithila painting which is practiced in the Mithila state of Nepal and in the bihar state of india so the painting is done with the finger streaks brushes nib pens and match sticks using natural dyes pigments and is characterized by eye catching geometrical patterns now the next question in which game the china man is used and the options are given here judo cricket billiards and golf So what is the answer this chinaman term is related to which game it is related to cricket So what does this chinaman means it means a ball that spins from off to leg bowled by the left hand bowler to the right hand batsman and you look at the other terminology there are three terminology more given which is related to cricket the first one is given by it is a fast bowler considering bias if he bowls wide and that is that cannot be catched by his wicket keeper and the second one is given cut shot that is a careful playing cut shot because it's easy to hit the ball into the air and which can be get caught so a short played square that is exactly 90 degrees on the off side to the right of the right hand batsman and the third one is given hook shot this is a good batsman can hit a hook shot when a first delivery is short paced and at head height so short in which the batsman swings his bat around his head and hits the ball behind the square leg right there are many more terminology just try to explore those and also just try to explore the other terminology which are related to this judo billiard girls right
Now the next question in an atomic explosion the enormous energy is released which is due to the dash so the answer is it is due to the conversion of mass into energy so in an atomic explosion the enormous energy is released which is due to the conversion of mass into energy since the most of the mass of ordinary objects reside in protons and neutrons converting all the energy of ordinary matters into more useful energy that requires protons and neutrons to be converted to lighter particles or the particles with no mass at all so based on this einstein's equation the amount of an energy added is relatively to the mass gained by the proton multiplied by the speed of the light squared so in other word a lot of energy is converted into relatively small amount of mass i hope all of you are understanding now the next question the sankirtan a famous traditional of ritual singing drumming and dancing is said to be declared intangible cultural heritage of humanity sankirtan practices the center on the temple where the performer narrate the lives and deeds of lord krishna through song and dances and sankirtan and bangladesh traditional art of jamdani weaving these are also famous in india and are said to be declared intangible cultural heritage of humanity now the next question the endoplasmic reticulum are the rough because of dash present on their surface and the options are given golgi bodies plastids rhizosomes ribosomes so what is the answer it is because of ribosomes so the endoplasmic reticulum is a type of organelles in eukaryotic cells that form an interconnected network of flattened membrane and closed sacs or tube like structures known as cisternum and the membranes of the endoplasmic reticulum are continuous with the outer nuclear membrane and the endoplasmic reticulum occur in most type of eukaryotic cells but it is absent from rbc and spermatozoa there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum one is rough and the other one is smooth the rough endoplasmic reticulum involves in some protein productions protein folding quality control and dispatch and it is because of the studded ribosomes now the next question the maximum permissible gap between the two session of the parliament is dash the answer here is it's 6 months according to the article 85 of the indian constitution states that the 6 month must not be intervened between the last sitting in one session and the first sitting in the succeeding session and in other word the interval between two sessions should not exceed 6 months now the next question the first talkie film of india was das the options are given here raja harish chandra alam ara then chandidas then jhansi ki rani and the answer here is the first talkie film is alam ara so it is an indian bollywood hindi and urdu film directed by ardeshir irani on 1931 and was the first indian sound film or the first talking and singing film of indian cinema and the film was a story inspired by a parsi playboy joseph david that revolves around a romance between a gypsy girl named almara and a prince and the movie featured the master vital as a jahangir khan and jubeda as an almara and it was a song from this movie that is de de khuda ke naam par which was the first playback song in indian cinema and that becomes extremely successful with the masses now the next question the exobiology deals with the study of dash and the answer here is it deals with the study of life in other planets and space so this exobiology is the branch of science that deals with the possibility and likely nature of the life on other planets or in space so the primary goal of exobiology research is to reach a better understanding of the process leading to the origin evolution and distribution of life on earth and elsewhere in the universe right now we'll move to the next question why clouds are float in atmosphere so is it because of low pressure low density low viscosity or low temperature 
and the answer here is it is because of low density so the clouds are formed by the combination of the thousands of small particles of water of ice density of these particles is so low that they can easily float in air due to the condensation the water drops are formed now the next question the indian council act of 1909 was popularly known as das so what is the answer it's minto morley reforms so the indian council act 1909 is commonly known as morley minto or minto morley reforms and it was an act of the parliament of united kingdom that brought about a limited increase in the involvement of the indians in the governance of british india and it effectively allowed the elections of indians to the various legislative council in india for the first time now the next question who among the following nanda rulers lost his empire to chandragupta maurya after being defeated by him and the options are he given here dhananand kaivartyananda bhutapalananda then rashtrapalananda so what is the answer is dhananand so according to the buddhist text the dhananand who died in 321 bc was the last ruler of nanda dynasty and he was the youngest of the eight brothers of dynasty's founder ugrasena so chanakya a brahmin who was insulted by nanda was vowed to overthrow him and raised an army that invaded the nanda capital pataliputra and killed him so chanakya then installed his own protest chandragupta maurya on the throne now the next question who gave the title of sardar to ballabh bhai patel and the options are given mahatma gandhi vinoba bhave women of badoli then pigeons of gujarat what is the answer this title has been given by women of badoli so it was the women of badoli who based on the title sardar for the first time which in gujarati and most indian language means chief of leaders and it was then mahatma gandhi who gave this title to him for his great organizational skill in the bardoli satyagraha now the next question the atmosphere pressure exerted on earth is due to das it's because of rotation of earth revolution of earth gravitational pull uneven heating of earth so what's the answer it's because of gravitational pull so the answer here is the atmospheric pressure made up of gases and the gases are physical substances and all physical substances has weight so the atmosphere is 25 mm thick and this passes down on earth that's how the atmospheric pressure exert pressure on earth which of the following will not get direct rays of sun options are given mumbai chennai tiruvananthapuram and srinagar and the answer is it's srinagar so the direct rays of sun will not fall on srinagar why because the sun rays directly fall in the middle of tropic of cancer and capricorn the srinagar is very far from tropic of cancer so direct rays of sun do not fall over the srinagar while chennai mumbai tiruvananthapuram located in between the tropic of cancer and capricorn now the next question the babar considered which ruler of gujarat as among the five greatest ruler of hindustan so what's the answer it's muzaffar shah so babar wrote his autobiography titled tuski babari in his mother tongue turki and the babar gave a description of india as well in his biography and he has written about the kings and political events in india he wrote hindustan is situated in the first second and third climates and no part of it is in the fourth one and he also wrote in his biography that once you cross the river of indus the country the trees the stones and the people and their customs all are indians now the next question the fourth saving refers to das so what do you mean by fourth saving the answer is its reduction of consumption consequent to a rise in price so according to the nobel prize winner frederick one forced saving in an economic situation 
in which the consumer spent less than their disposable income not because they want to save but because the goods they they want are not available and because goods are too expensive now the next question which of the following place is the most humid place of india so what's the answer the answer here is it's mesinaram so mesinaram is a village in the east khasi hills district of meghalaya state in northern eastern part of india it's a 65 km from shillong and this is the most humid place of india it is also known as wettest place now the next question the term green gnp emphasizes stars so the answer here is it means a sustainable development so the gross national product that is the full form of gnp measures the welfare of a nation's economy through the aggregate of products and services produced in that particular nation although the gnp is a proficient measure of the magnitude of the economy many economists environmentalists and citizens have been arguing that the validity of gnp in respect to the measuring of welfare so they are calling for a green national product that would indicate if activities benefit or harm the economies and well being so this new national product would differ from the national gnp by addressing both the sustainability and well being of the planet and its inhabitants just keep on reading this explanations part now we'll move to the next question a transfer income is as dash So, what do you mean by transfer income? It is the income which is not produced by a production process. So, the transfer payment, one way payment of money for which no money, goods, or services received in exchange. So, income which is not produced by any production process is called transfer income, and it is generally money received by an individual or family from the state or other body, often the pension or unemployment benefits. So the government uses such payments as a means of income redistribution by giving out the money under social welfare programs such as social security, old age or disability pensions, student grants, unemployment pensions, etc. And these transfer payments are excluded in computing the gross national product. And with this question, we have come to the end of the session. And with this session, we have done this series. and we completed all the 322 questions i hope these questions will be asked in the upcoming exams all the very best for your preparation keep practicing keep reading and stay tuned thank you